Star? I would just like to give the apologies for ruining the precious water with my linguistic misunderstandings. Misunderstandings are normal, Star. Don't sweat it. Yeah, and we likes how you talks all bads. I only wish I had the gift of the clear speech that you all possess. Star, if you changed the way you talk, it would change who you are. Besides, it's not something you can just do overnight. Oh, but I could. The Tamaranian people can learn language and speech patterns through the lip contact. Are you... <clears throat> are you talking about kissing? If Starfire wants to communicate more clearly, then we have to help her! Oh, wonderful! But you all have such appealing particulars to your speech. How shall I decide with whom to make the lip contact? You can play spin the bottle. Great idea! That is a great idea! We just need a bottle. Any bottle! Get out of my way! I need a bottle! Bottle! Bottle, 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 bottle. <laughs> Here we go! Calm down, dude! You calm down, dude! <clears throat> I'll go first. You gotta kiss the cactus. Hey, handsome, give me a kiss. Ouch! <laughs> he got a crush on it, yo. I do not, like I would ever. I'm way too attractive to date this cactus. Ouch! Star, you should spin. Please land on me, please land on me, please land on me. Yeah, boy! Here is going the nothing. Did it work? I don't know. Did it? <gasps> Whoa, I sounds like you, yo. <laughs> you do sounds like me, yo. That's, That's what's, what's up. up. <laughs> <laughs> now you all knows what's exactly what I'm saying. This was a great idea. I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Excuse me. I need a moment. <laughs> Careful with the generator. It is crucial to my plan for world domination. Your plan stops here, brain! Oh, the Teen Titans? I must admit, I am surprised to see you here. We may be a little rusty, but when evil threatens the good people of the world, the Teen Titans will be there! Titans! Uh... Titans what? I'm still drawing a blank here. Titans! Eat tacos? No, oh, that's not right. Help me out. Titans! Enter a surfing competition? Take a vacay to Croatia? No, no, it was something quick and energetic. Titans! Commune with nature? Pet the kitty? No, 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 it's, it's, uh, Titans. All right, they've got the generator, but it's not too late. We just need to get inside and destroy it to stop Brain's evil plan. Again, I think we should ask someone else to handle this. There is no one else. We are the bulwark upon which evil breaks, okay? Fine. Bulwark. What else? How do we get inside? First, we need to take out that robot guard. Uh, anyone remember how to do that? Yo, that's my speciality. I'm on it. You about to be taken out, fool! Baby, come to my house. What's that smell in the air? Come on to the kitchen. Got something really, really special up in there. Ah! Shrimps and fried bread. I'll show you how much I care. Shrimps and fried bread. I'll cook the medium bread. For you, I'll cook it medium bread. For you, I'll cook it cause I care. That's right, baby. You enjoy yourself with them shrimps and prime rib. Oh! Dang, Beastie is totally taking that robot out. A special meal for a special robot. <laughs> My man made those good shrimps and prime rib. The most romantic foods of all. Shh, quiet. Beast Boy is about to finish him off. It is getting late. I better get going. Let me walk you home, baby. I had a great time with you tonight. Yeah, I still got it. Friend Beast Boy.
Boy has successfully taken out the guard. We are free to enter the Brain's lair. You were supposed to take it out, like a superhero, using your powers. Oh, I did, with the power of love, yo. Ah, uh, let's just get in there. We are the only heroes that can save Jump City. Titans, um... Still can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Titans! Uh, walla walla bing bang! Titans! Shamalama moo moo! No, that's yours. Di uh, I gotta remember! So, you started an old-timey hair salon? Y'all give me a perm with them tight curly curls. These are advanced VR helmets that will transport our consciousness inside my computer, where we'll become our cool hacker avatars, find those computer pirates, and take them down. And make them walk the plank. <laughs> no planks! This is a hacker adventure. We will report them to the FBI, and they will face up to $250,000 in fines, not to mention a potential five-year prison sentence. Eh, that sounds boring. It only sounds boring because you don't understand virtual reality. You just need to free your minds. Make your choice. The red jelly beans or the blue? Uh, choose carefully. Oh, hey, 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 hey! You were supposed to make a choice between being free thinkers or staying imprisoned in your own minds. We picked jelly beans. Forget it. Let's just get started. Titans, jack in! Say what? Jack in! It's computer hacker slang for plugging our brains into my computer. Are you sure about this? Your computer is pretty old, dude. It'll be fine. Now, jack in! Sounds kind of creepy when you say it like that. I'm not a creep. Jack in! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hacker adventure. Ooh, where are we? Welcome to my computer. You said this would be an awesome simulation. Yeah, this place is a real bummer. Robin, you are looking the leathery. This is my awesome hacker outfit. I told you hacking was cool. You guys can look like this too. You just have to free your mind. Do we get more jelly beans? No. Pass. Fine. Let me just log us in. Yo, you ain't supposed to mix up them numbers and letters like that. Hackers make their own cool hacker names by replacing certain letters with numbers. So your hacker name is... It's Blaze. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, are you giggling because Blaze sounds so cool? Yes, Robin. Blaze is the cool name. Yes, I knew it! Now, prepare to enter a virtual world of danger and excitement. Come with me, Titans, and I'll show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes! Free your mind. Hey! This is just your desktop. Isn't it awesome? No. Look. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. I'm interacting with this virtual environment. Ooh, ah. Hey, what's in here? Bro, why do you have so many pics with your shirt off? Uh, those were taken on hot days. Ah, we're here. Sweet. That car was smelling rank, yo. Whose fault was that? <laughs> oh, mine? Beast Boy, wake up Starfire and Cyborg. Guys? Star? Cyborg? Where you at? Bro? Huh. They're, they're not in the car. What? How did you two not notice that until now? I don't know how it could have slipped by me. Well, they must be alone in the tower. We have to get home before they destroy the place or hurt themselves. <laughs> The Tum Tum is on the fire. Perhaps the candied lasagna, pet of a mame, and the fizzy water were not the best of the ideas. Being a grown up is much harder than it looks. Oh, oh, the the monsters! monsters! They're going to eat us! <laughs> <laughs> Who are we kidding? We don't know how to be grown ups. Are our booby traps even gonna work? We must try, Cyborg. It is time. 
to adult. Booyah! Oh, come on! <gasps> you will not eat us, the monsters! Let's get grown up! <gasps> the tower from those horrible monsters! We are truly the grown people! Adult! Yo, who are those creeps? Those are the carnies. They run the games. Oh, how wonderful! Thank you, sweet carnies, for bringing joy to all the world! No, Star. Their job is to rig the game so nobody ever wins. Evil! So we can't win those big prizes? Not if the carnies have their way. But I want the horsey horsey now, yo! You get your stuffed horsey, Beast Boy, because these carnies have never gone up against the Teen Titans! Titans, go! <laughs> <laughs> I told you the carnies wouldn't let us win. You were right. Star, don't waste your money. But I must! I must win the Golden Fish Prize! Star, no. This is the cruelest of carny games. Because it is the rig, too? No, because it's the only one that's not. You'll probably win your fish, but no matter what you do, it'll be belly up within days. <gasps> Well, I shall defy these carnies. I vow that the power of my love will keep the golden fish alive for many years. All right, Star. All you have to do is toss a ball into a bowl. I believe in you. Here. I think we riled up the carnies. Oh, yeah. They're giving us the steak eye. They smell of the regular eye to me. Goodbye, the carnies. I think he's going for it. Booyah! Wow, we actually caught one. He is the so tiny. I'm the height of an average person. We's trapped you. <laughs> so give us our wishes, fool. I'm not a leprechaun anymore. Once a leprechaun, always a leprechaun. Wishes, now. Request for wishes, denied. Continue to refuse us, and you shall lawfully receive the pinches. You wouldn't. Pinch. Stop it. Pinch. Come on, guys. Pinch. Uh... <laughs> Fine. Fiddle-dee-dee, tell me your wishes three. Nice. First wish, we want hats. Sick. The second wish, we want the hats to be the sideways. Oh! Oh, this is the fresh dope, the fresh dope style. It's like.
like my face is going this way, but my hat is going that way. What? Just to make your last wish, I don't want to spend any more time as a leprechaun than I have to. How comes you don't like being a leprechaun, bro? Because it's terrible. The compulsion to fix shoes day and night. Not to mention, people are always trying to steal your cereal when you just want to eat breakfast in peace. And worst of all, you become obsessed with gold. I like gold. Tell me that after your back goes out carrying a 200-pound pot of gold every day. <sighs> It is only through my powerful mental fortitude that I can repress my leprechaun urges and live a normal life. Who wants a normal life when you can ride rainbows and have a pot of gold? I wish I was a leprechaun. Wish granted. Oh, sick, dude! Check out my beard! Oh, and my shoes! Buckle me shoes, yo! Ha ha ha! You little goof! You messed up that last wish! Yeah, we're gonna wish our hats all the way backwards, remember? And now they are the stuck, only the sideways. Forget the hats, yo! I'm a leprechaun now! That means we can do all that sick leprechaun business without having to catch Robin! You mean you can hook us up with rainbows and corned beef? Oh! I'ma live that leprechaun life, son! Living out, living out, leprechaun life! of the rock now. Aha! Barnacles! Barnacles? That's your big clue? Barnacles? Yes! Barnacles! If you had an extensive knowledge of all things, like I do, you would know that barnacles live almost exclusively in shallow waters. And yet, we are hundreds of meters deep. What's it mean, Master Detective? What's it mean? It means, my dear boy, that these barnacles are fakes and are most likely a hidden switch. How does he do it? I don't know how he does it, but he just keeps on doing it! Go Robin, Robin, the, the master, master detective! detective. What, what, what? He just cracked the rock open. This doesn't prove anything. Oh, ye of little faith, we shall see. We shall see. <sighs> wow, a big empty cave. We are closer than ever to finding those animals, Titans. Now sit back and watch the master detective work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Up here, ah, interesting. Nope, uh, come on, come on. There must be a trick stalagmite or, or maybe these pebbles are a clue. All right, this is a waste of time. A real master detective would have found those animals by now. All you've been doing is making absurd leaps of logic based on nothing. We have been here for the several hours. Yeah, maybe we're looking in the wrong place. Da, 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 da. Do you hear that? No. Listen. Shh. We hear the nothing. What is it, bro? I hear something. Shh. <gasps> it's my gut, and it's telling me something. What's it telling you, bro? It's telling me that I'm on to something. And that means it's time to dig deeper. With your brain shovel? That's right. <laughs> Robin, I think it's time to stop. I knew it! Something! <gasps> the symbol of the Illuminati! Yes! M -m 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 Master Detective! Beast Boy, you need to do a better job keeping your hair clean. That includes fur. Who's asking too much of me, fool? Cyborg, you need to wash your face more. It's very oily. Because I oil it. My face is half robot, man. I gotta lubricate. Raven, you need to brush your teeth more. You have bad breath. 
I have evil breath. <sighs> and last, but certainly not least, Starfire. You, uh, know I don't like finding fault with you, but we've got one more problem area left to talk about. Hands. Come on, let's see them. <gasps> They're spotless. Indeed, I have been washing the hands quite often. Excellent. At least one of you understands the importance of keeping germs at bay. Oh, you misunderstand. I have been washing the hands in the event that an evil witch casts a spell upon me, and a handsome prince must kiss my hand to wake me from the slumber and rescue me from the tower. Smart. I cannot approve of that. Hands are filthy appendages. Kissing them is a surefire way to spread disease. But it is the most brief of lip-to-hand contact. Allow me to demonstrate by kissing upon your hand. I... <clears throat> I approve of that. <laughs> well, well, baby hands. Hands. Quiet! This is my destiny. Ah. I will never wash this hand again. Okay, what about all that stuff you just said about hygiene? None of that applies to hands kissed by Starfire. Precious, precious kiss. I promise to protect you. Bros, you are gonna get mad stinky. Yeah, how are you gonna take a shower without getting your hand wet? I'll beg it. <laughs> Good evening, Titans. Ooh, crispy tots. Robin, it's been three months and you still haven't washed your hands. So? We are concerned that your hand has become hygienically challenged. Impossible! The hand is bagged at all times, and the rubber band around my wrist makes an airtight seal. That airtight seal is just trapping germs in there. Indeed. You have created the environment in which the bacterium flourish. <gasps> Bro! Your hand is probably gonna fall off from all those bacteriums! That's ridiculous. My hand isn't going to fall off. It was perfectly clean when I put it in the bag. Therefore, it must still be perfectly clean. Prove it. Take off the bag. Break the seal? Are you crazy? I can't risk exposing the kiss. Take, Take off, off the, the bag. bag! Take off the bag! Take off the bag! Take off! Okay, okay. I'll show you. See? It's fine. Ah! Dude! Your hand just fell off! No, 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 no! This is terrible! I love that hand! Uh, now all I have is this worthless left one. Oh! Don't look at me like that. You know how I feel. It's okay, dude. Lots of cool guys only have one hand. Like Rick Allen or a pirate or... Did that thing just move? What's with the Shakespeare pants, dude? Ten percentage of my brain I doth now employ. Henceforth, the myth call me Renaissance boy. Ooh, your word usage in Feather Hat suggests the increased intellect, Renaissance boy. Indubitably, yo. And now I shall find yon hidden pick. Mine eyes it shall no longer trick. Yeah! Yeah! Forsooth! Methinks this puzzle is the vile work of a mad alchemist. You really don't see it. Nay, I needeth more brain percentages. Well, you're at 10%. That's the maximum amount a person can use. I'm telling you, dude, that's not how the brain works. Of course it is. I saw it in several very similar movies. Yeah, would there be several movies with the same premise if it wasn't true? Sounds logic, milady. Henceforth, I shall endeavor to unlock my brain's true potential. So the duck says, put it on my bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, always using that sense of humor to hide the painful conflict in your soul. Do your cybernetics make you less of men or more? Either way, use a misfit of the human race, brother. That's your... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was not the nice thing to say, Beast Boy. My bad. I'm using 50% of my brains now, so I got all these deep insights about people. You know, like how Robin's always trying to be cool to compensate for how he used to wear short shorts and elf boots. <laughs> it's true! Or like how Raven won't never feel no deep emotions like the rest of us. Because if she did, she might lose control of herself and destroy the world like her dad wants her to. <laughs> my heart is empty. And how poor Starfire is desperate to make friends. 
because she's the only alien on this entire planet, and that makes her, you know, super isolated and sad. Oh, I am the alone. <laughs> 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 Why are you <laughs> doing this, man? So as I can solve this puzzle, yo. Speaking of which... <laughs> ah, still not smart enough! I need more brain percentages! I do not like the smart beast boy. He makes me the sad. What if he manages to unlock 100% of his brain? He could become a serious threat to my self-esteem. <laughs> Ah, I am loving this. No more boring speeches. None of the shoutings. Oh, hey, I think he's trying to say something. Well, too bad he can't. <laughs> he should have respected the jinx. Guess he'll have to find some other way to communicate. this way before. This is causing the cringes. Why are you doing this, man? It's embarrassing for everyone. Hold up, yo. I think she's trying to communicate like them bees do. They talk by dancing. Friend Robin believes he is the bee? He's not a bee. He knows that, right? We got no idea what you want, fool. You're just not a very good dancer. Oh, what's he doing now? I think he's trying to communicate using the international language of love. I am afraid he is not the fluent in the love language. Ew. Yo, who invited Don Juan to Marco? Robin broke the jinx, now he's living with the consequences. Oh, snap! I wish I could help you out, but it's not like I could live inside your belly and talk for you. <gasps> Did you just eat Birdarang? Word, it is straight up disgusting in here. Poor little Birdman. Does this not defeat the purpose of learning the alternate communication method? Forget that noise. We got to posse up and get my dude's voice back before he eats any more fish. Where are we gonna peep my man's vocals, yo? You lost it playing, Jinx. So obviously Jinx has it. Really? Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah. I cannot believe Super it's completely this. the uncreative. But I guess it makes sense, yo. Yeah. It is it the That's genius. why we're number one. Titans, giggity, giggity, go! Let's get this party poppin', yo! <gasps> yo, this TV has buttons! Oh, yes! Good booyah! Finally! Let's get this movie night started! But what about the popping of the corn? Beast Boy, this is taking a really long time. You set the timer, right? Yeah, bro. 40 bags, three hours. I double the math, yo. That's not even close to right. We're pinned down, man! It's a madhouse of buttery brutality out there! Oh, hey, Mama. Toaster in the hole! I need a mirror. Hey! Ow! Okay, Titans, we gotta take the hill now! Together, as a team! If not for us, if not for our children, then for every other bored roommate out there with nothing to do on a Friday night! Titans, go! Starfire! Robin! Starfire! That was very stupid. Uh, 
I know. We're going to carry on without you. It's okay. <laughs> carry on <laughs> without me. I just said that. <sighs> Pretty dramatic, right? Not really! Looks like <coughs> I won't get there in one piece. <coughs> Promise me you'll save a seat on the couch for me. <laughs> Well, Beast Boys, since you saved movie night, we can watch your movie tonight. Yeah, yeah! You guys are gonna love this! It's a special edition Super Director's Cut. Now everyone knows my dance is tight, cause it's BB's movie night. No fight, no fight, just popcorn bite. Everybody watch BB's movie night. Uh, uh, yeah! Ah, uh, stop! Uh, All of that for this? Next week we're doing board games. Uh,